Okay, so in the special equipment vendor here in the weapon section, we have this liberator here. It has 18% enemy armor damage, not the highest it can be, but it's decent. Its actual damage is 18.7k. Now its talents are brutal, capable, and deadly. This is okay, it's not too bad. Of course, it's not the best you can have. Uh, so for this one, if you want to get this, I'd recommend switching capable over to something else. Next up, we have the pecan. Now the pecan has 14% damage to target out of cover, that's good. The damage on it is 19.1k, you know of course the damage uh, varies depending on your firearms. But uh, you can look at my firearms there and you know that's the damage I have. Now the talents on it are deadly, destructive and then its own talent called pecan. Now for this, since you can't roll out the, the pecan talent, I'd suggest rolling out deadly to something else, maybe like responsive or I don't know, you know, whatever you feel like you will need on this weapon, but this is a definitely pickup. Next up, we have the Centurion. Now with this weapon, I mean, it's a pistol, so you won't really be using it, but if you're using the Liberator, pick this up. It's not bad, you know. Of course, it is pricey, so that's really up to you. Coming over to the mask section here, we have this Lone Star Mask, which is rolled 888 armor, not the highest, but it's okay. Then it is rolled stamina for 1149. Now these two things are low, but if you're planning to use this piece for land stand, then it's okay because it will get maxed out and it'll be useful then. Now its major attribute is 9400 skill power, then its minor attribute is 16% burn, burn resistance. Sorry. But, um,. Now, if you wanted to switch over the stamina to something else, you can definitely do that. But if you're okay with the stamina, then I suggest maybe switching over the skill power to something else like health or I believe enemy armor damage you can roll on this. So definitely check this out if you're looking for Lone Star Mask. Next up, we do have a Deadeye Acquisition System Mask rolled 856 armor and then it's firearms for 1,162. Of course, again, on the low side but if you're using it for last stand then it's good its major attribute is 8610 skill power and then its minor attribute is 11 damage 11 percent damage to elite of course for this one i would really suggest just leaving the firearm since you're always trying to get the most damage and then rolling minor attribute to something else like burn resistance or bleed resistance whatever you prefer in the body armor section here, we have a Spec Ups armor piece high end. Its talent is Reckless. It is rolled for 1,966 armor. That's good. And then it's rolled firearms for 1,263. Also very good. Its major attribute is 7% skill haste, 4% health on kill. And then its minor attribute, sorry, minor attribute is 54% ammo capacity. Now for this one, you know, of course it's not the best in the world. Actually, none of these armor pieces here today are actually that good. But, um, well, not that good, but they're, you know, worth noting for sure. So for this one, I would have to say, if you're good with the firearms, then switch over health on kill to something like stamina or, you know, whatever you feel more, co more comfortable. But I'll leave the skill haste just so you can get a better cooldown on your, t on your abilities. But yeah, that's it there. Definitely pick it up if you want to. Then we have a striker harness. Its armor is 1,600. No, sorry, 1,712. It is rolled stamina for 1,249. Its major attribute is 4% health on kill, and then 16,554 health. Its minor attribute is 28% increased kill XP. So for this one, you should already know. I, if it was me, I'd roll the minor attribute to ammo capacity because ammo, you know, is so essential uh, compared to an increased kill XP, which you hardly ever do that. And then you only get it from a PvE action. So for this one, you know, if you're looking for a stamina uh, striker chest piece, this is definitely for you and I definitely recommend come get this. Next up, we have a sentry call harness. It is rolled 1,847 armor. Not that bad. Then it's rolled firearms for 1,159. Its major attributes are 5% enemy armor damage, 4% all resistance. And then the minor attribute is 49% ammo capacity. This is good there. 
course you can take a look and the firearms is low but if you're using it in last stand that'll go max so this is more like of a last stand type of uh, piece now if you're wanting to roll anything else except firearms then the thing I would suggest would be all resistance maybe switching that out to something else that you like but that's it for the body armor there all we have is this reclaimer support pack it is rolled 1,308 armor. It is rolled electronics for 1,174. Its major attribute is 12,279 skill power. And then its minor attribute is 54% ammo capacity. So for this one, the armor is okay. It's not that bad. Um, and then it is rolled electronics. So maybe if you're looking for something else, you know, switch that out. I'd say the skill power is good on this. So I really wouldn't mind that. And then, of course, if you're using it in last stand, everything that you do on it will go max. Except, I think, the major and minor attributes. Those always stay the same. But that's it for the bad pack section there. Coming over to the knee pads section, we have these Banshee Shadow knee pads. Now, it's rolled 1,611 armor. That's good. Then it's rolled stamina for 1,244. Its major attribute is 3% all resistance, minor attributes are 29% blind death resistance, 27% shock resistance, and then 30% bleed resistance. So for this one, of course, you know, you'll be using it in the dark zone. Um, if you're okay with the stamina rolled on it, then you can switch over the major attribute, which is what I recommend. But if you're even okay with all resistance, then you can maybe switch over blind death resistance to burn resistance. But that's all up to you. I just wanted to show you guys this piece there. In the holster section here, we have this final measure holster. Its armor is rolled for 909. Its firearm roll is 1,177. Its stamina roll is 1,269. And then its electronics roll is 1,500. No, sorry, 1,253. Its major attribute, of course, is 7,394 health. Now, for this piece here, I definitely roll the firearms to try to get it higher. The stamina and the electronics are decently high. And then of course you have health, which I really don't think you can beat the health as far, you know, as the holster and what you can get. So definitely come get this if you're looking for a final measure holster. Coming over to the glove section here, we have this Hunter's Faith glove. It is rolled 961 armor. It has 1,155 firearms. Of course, that's low, so this is probably best for um, last stand. Unless you're using an LMG, then you know, of course, everything is good. But if you're not using an LMG, then you know, the major attributes are 1,175 LMG damage, 7.50% enemy armor damage, and then 5.50% critical hit chance. So, like I was saying. This is probably best for a last stand if you're wanting to switch the LMG damage to something else. But if you're not, then you know you can basically use this wherever you wear a Hunter's Faith piece. But of course, come get this if you like it. Coming over to the mod section here, we have this prototype performance mod. Its skill attribute is 2% post critical hit chance. So this is more for the people that are trying to go, you know, full critical hit chance. Though of course it does cap at 60%, I believe. In Kerman Station, we have a weapon mod that's worth looking. Of course, it's not the best it could be, but if you're needing it, then you know definitely come get it and check it out. It's gonna be this Omega Rifle Suppressor here. Its major attributes are 18% headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and then it's rolled 4.50% optimal range. That could have been critical hit chance, but you know you gotta work with what you have. Then its major attribute is 45% reduced threat, so not that bad. Uh, not the best though Coming over to Dante's run here. We have this nimble holster Which is rolled 883 armor its rolls are 1125 firearms then it's rolled stamina for 1240 and then it's electronics is rolled for 1158 Not the best on firearms and electronics. So this might be best for last stand rather than anything else um, now it's major attribute is six percent skill haste. So if you're using it for last stand, I recommend changing the skill haste over to health. That's what I think is the best. But skill, 
sorry, <laughs> skill haste is actually still very good. Coming over to Dante's run here, we're going to have a nimble holster that is rolled 883 armor. His rolls are 1,125 firearms, 1,240 stamina, and electronics is 1,158. Now the firearms and the electronics are on the low side there. So, I mean, for last stand, this will be good, you know, because they become maxed anyways. Um, and then his major attribute is 6% skill haste. So if you're using it for last stand, I recommend switching skill haste, even though skill haste is still good. You can switch it over to health, which I think is the best. But yeah, other than that, I really don't recommend it unless you're using it for last stand. Down in the mod section here, we have a prototype performance mod that gives you 3.50% seeker mind damage. Now for you seeker mind users, this is definitely something to get since I do believe this is the max roll you can get for a seeker mind damage build. Coming over to Autumn's Hope here, we're gonna have the specialized backpack that is rolled 1,259 armor. Then his firearms is 1,108, kind of on the low side of there. Uh, but you know, of course, you can always re-roll that, maybe even to stamina or even electronics, or just make it higher. Its major attribute is 13,116 health. Then its minor attribute is 51% ammo capacity. So for this one, I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's probably going to be one of the best things in the weekly event uh, for this week. So definitely come get this. You know, like I said, uh, re-roll that to something else or make the firearms higher. But I'll leave the ma major attribute because that's good. And then the minor attribute is also good. Coming over to the Me Locker safe house here, we have this weapon mod worth noting. It's going to be this Maw Grip Red here. Its major attribute is 17% critical hit damage. 2% accuracy and then 4.50% reload speed. So this is more just if you need a grip with the critical hit damage because I know that's uh, very sought after in a 1.6. Of course, I would recommend this for either a shotgun or a sniper that you're using with dead eye because of course you need the accuracy and then the reload speed on a shotgun or a sniper. It's always uh, very slow so you know you get that little boost there coming over to the last call safe house we have this amazing weapon mod here it's gonna be this magazine extended magazine sorry its major attribute is 110 percent magazine size four percent critical hit damage and then three percent critical hit chance now i don't believe those are all uh, maxed out but of course it's still very close and still very good uh, this is actually the only magazine I ever do use on any of my weapons, so definitely come get this. So very cheap as well. Again, this is at the last call safe house. Coming over to the ward safe house here, we have this mod that's worth noting for you ballistic shield users. It's going to be this prototype performance mod, and the skill attribute is 4% ballistic shield damage resilience. So this is definitely, you know, for the Ballistic Shield users, I would recommend getting this. If you don't already have it, come get this. In DZ09, coming over to East 64th Street Checkpoint, we're going to have this mod that's definitely worth getting. It's going to be this prototype performance mod here, and its skill attribute is 7.50% support station range. Now, I do believe this is the max, so definitely come get this, as it's going to be one of the best things for this week. In DZ08, coming over to E58 Street Checkpoint, we're gonna have this high end mask here with the talent Tenacious. Its armor is rolled for 935, then it's rolled stamina for 1175, kind of on the low side, so this is probably best for last stand. Its major attribute is 3.50% critical hit chance, and then its minor attribute is 17% burn resistance. So, like I said, this is probably best for last stand. Um, now, if you're okay with the stamina, you know you can leave it as it is and switch my the might no, sorry, switch over the major attribute to I believe enemy armor damage or whatever you like, or you can roll over the stamina to something else if you like the critical hit chance. Either way, though, come get this mask if you're looking for one. Still in DZ08, coming over to Park Avenue checkpoint, we're gonna have this MP5 that's actually very good. It has 20.50% critical hit chance, 
The damage on it is 17.8k. And then its talents are commanding, destructive, and competent. Now, of course, for this one, like I said, it's good. Just roll over commanding to something else, like responsive, and you'll be set. Competent to me is not the best talent, but you know, it's still a damage talent, and it's definitely going to help you out. So that's why I recommend switching over commanding to something like responsive, or you know, you could go with whatever you feel comfortable with. But definitely come get this MP5. I'm actually going to buy it right now. In DZ03, coming over to East 42nd Street Checkpoint, we're going to have this weapon mod that's worth noting if you need some critical hit damage on your muzzle. It's going to be this loud vent break here. Its major attributes are 16% critical hit damage, 6% headshot damage, then 4.50% optimal range. And of course, its minor attribute is 47% increased threat. Now, for this one, uh, the critical hit damage is not the highest it could be, but of course, like I said, if you're needing some critical hit damage, you can definitely come get this. Still in DZ03, coming over to East 40th Street Checkpoint, we're going to have a mod and a weapon mod that's worth noting. It's going to be this prototype performance mod, which gives you 6% first aid ally heal. So this is good if you're becoming a healer for your team. You know, this can definitely boost up the health of your teammates. Next up we have this Omega Rifle Suppressor, his major attributes are 18% headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and then 2.50% critical hit chance. Its minor attribute as you can see there is 50% reduced threat. Now this is actually very good, not the max, but definitely good and definitely a must pick. Now in DZ02, coming over to East 34th Street Checkpoint, we're going to have this mod that's actually good. Don't for critical hit damage that is, it's going to be this loud event break here. Its major attributes are 19% critical hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 5.50% headshot damage. Then its ma minor attribute is 43% increased threat. So this is definitely good if you're using something like Deadeye. You know, you can add that to your muzzle and, you know, get that 19% critical hit damage increase. Coming over to DZ01 in West 31st Street Checkpoint, we're going to have this, um, I believe, what is it, let me see, it's going to be this prototype performance mod here, which gives you 6.50% ballistic shield health, so this is definitely for you ballistic shield users, if you need more health on your shield, you can come get this for sure. Coming back to DZ03 at West 39th Street Checkpoint, if you're needing some stability, and some weapon damage on your weapon you can come get this site here its major attributes are 12.50% stability 4% critical hit damage and then 3% critical hit chance at the DZ04 safe room we have this I believe stamina mod oh no firearms mod here it has 235 firearms and then its major attribute is 3206 health uh, this could be better in both aspects but it's definitely something you can pick up if you need it at the DZ05 safe room, we have something worth noting if you need it. It's going to be this C79 scope. Uh, its major attributes are 16% critical hit damage, 4.50% optimal rate, and then 3% critical hit chance. Like I said, this is only if you're in need of this. Uh, you can't find anything else better. Uh, of course, like I said, the critical hit damage on it is low, uh, but if you need it, come get it. Coming over to DZ06 safe room, we're going to have this alpha bridge mask here. It is rolled 933 armor. It is rolled stamina for 100, no sorry, 1,218 stamina. Its major attribute is 9,416 skill power. Then its minor attribute is 9% damage to elites. Now for this one, if you're okay with the stamina and the skill power, um, I suggest rolling that minor attribute to something like burn resistance or whatever you feel more comfortable with But again, it's a good piece to pick up if you need it. Next up. We do have um, let me see. It's gonna be Was it was it that one? It's gonna be this fire crest knee pads here. It's armor. It's 1609 armor it is rolled stamina for 1,231. Its major attribute is 3% all resistance. Its minor attributes is 33% shock resistance, 30% burn resistance, and then 28% blind death resistance. Now, again, like the other piece, if you're okay with the stamina, 
you can roll the major attribute to whatever you like but it's definitely again like I said worth picking up if you need it coming over to DZ09 safe room we're gonna have these predator mark gloves here uh, the armor on it is 902 it is rolled firearms for 1189 its major attributes are 902 SMG damage 5.50 critical hit chance that's percent and then it's 16% critical hit damage. Now, like I said, this is actually very good. Uh, if you're already rocking Predator Mark Glove with an SMG, then you're all set there for the major attributes. And then you can roll the firearms to even higher firearms or switch it out to whatever you like. But if you're not satisfied with that firearms, uh, you know, like I said, switch it out. Then you can even switch out the SMG damage if you're good with the firearms. Is what I actually meant to say. But uh, yeah, definitely come pick this if you do need it. Hey, okay. So that was the weekly vendor reset for this week. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more, go rogue on that subscribe button by attacking it. Also, turn on the notifications to stay up to date on all things of Division. Until next time, in the Empire, this is Pharaoh's G signing out. Take care.